So let me turn now to uh, Cape Town, South Africa, and we'll hear from Bua van der Ems, who is the chairman of the Pestalozzi Trust. Welcome, Bui. Thank you very much, Peter. Yes, I'm currently the chairperson of the Pestalozzi Trust, but I started off in 2002 when I, uh, as the um, treasurer. So I've been involved with the finances for a long time. So the Pesta Lotsi Trust is the legal defense fund for home education in South Africa. We were founded in 1998 by Leonard van Oostrum and his wife, uh, Karen van Oostrum. Uh, she is currently the CEO of the organization and Leonard passed away uh, in 2018. Oh no, 27, 2016, sorry. Um, and, and, and since then, I've taken over as the chairperson of the trust. So the, the, the trust is also a membership organization. The, the mission of the trust is to, to promote the cause for freedom in education. Now, if you want to promote a cause, you, you, you must ask for donations for people that support your cause to give donations. But if you've got an organization that needs to pay salaries of people that are employed either part-time or full-time, they need to be um, uh, regular donations. So there are many civil organizations in South Africa that promote causes and ask people to give them regular donations that can pay the salaries of the employees of the organization. But for such an organization to be feasible, You'd you need a real bad government that constantly comes out with bad new legislation that can constantly motivate the people to uh, uh, donate and, 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 and re remain part of the organization. And although we've, we've got a government that's indeed bad and that constantly issues bad legislation, uh, the, the education legislation is very slow. So there's been a legislative change in, in the C SA Schools Act in 1996, and they are, off, they are currently busy with, uh, with amendments to those laws. So unfortunately, that's not good enough to keep the people motivated to donate on a regular basis. So, so therefore, regular donations to promote the cause of the collective is not going to work for, for, for funding the organization. Therefore, we are a membership organization that gives a benefit to the individual member. So when you join the Pestalozzi Trust, uh, the, the individual member gets some benefits. And that those benefits are that we will manage conflicts between uh, home educators and, and government, uh, we will provide advice when it comes to you know, at home education uh, and um, engagement with government, and we will keep them updated. And that value proposition gives the members peace of mind. So we are giving individual members a service that gives them peace of mind. And for that, um, at home educators are willing to join the Pestalozzi Trust and pay a, a, a membership fee that keeps the, the organization going. So therefore, we our main uh, um, source of income is the membership fees that gives the individual benefit of giving parents a safe space in which they can, can home educate their children. And then that also then uh, generates the funds that we use to promote the cause, the greater cause for the collective, namely freedom in education. So that is uh, how we've been operating and, and it's been exhilarating uh, since 2016 uh, when the government started um, uh, considering new legislation and it's creating a, a good positive um, feedback loop. We're giving uh, people a safe space in which to home educate, that causes the, the movement to grow, uh, that raises concerns of government that causes more conflict and, 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 and therefore the need for the trust becomes increasingly visible for the public and the trust is able to, to grow. So I think that is what I've got to say about funding. Thank you very much.